Hello everyone, this is Jorge and I'm gonna just do a very quick video introducing you to this test version of Toy with some of the instructions that you guys need in order to start playing with this guy. Once you guys go ahead and download uh, the, the rig from the website and uh, where you uncompress it, whatever is gonna be your work folder, you're going to see that there is uh, several different files and folders within the package. One is going to be the latest version of the rig. In this case, it's the 17. This is the one that we're going to be using for beta testing. A workspace uh, file and a maps folder. This is uh, going to help us to see the character pretty and uh, um, looking pretty nice. So that's why I recommend to keep these three ones always in the same file and whatever you guys do any kind of shot you just call to this version here through the reference editor so these files here is there is clean and without any kind of issues when it comes to the moment of calling you know textures or whatever version of the character is um, this toy user folder here this is our license system, there is a panel, and I'm gonna explain to you later what it is about, but it's also very important for you guys to know that this is the one that is gonna help you to see the character and to work with it, and you know, because it's gonna help you to unlock the license for you. The next step you guys need to do is to copy this toy UC file to whatever the Maya scripts folder in your OS is. So in the website, you're gonna find like the, all the structures for whatever your OS is, because it's different and can be very different for different user. So you just go ahead and copy and paste it to, to the MyScripts folder. Okay, so now we are ready to bring Toy into the scene. Uh, as always, my recommendation is to create a reference. So for that, I'm gonna be going to file uh, create a reference and I'll be going to what I uncompress my toy rig beta package and uh, hit on the version 17 of of toy and here it is uh, this is the locked version of toy so as you can see it's all in gray if I graph any of these guys I cannot doesn't happen anything so that's why we need to run the script and we need to run the licensing program. Uh, if you go ahead and look into the website, you're going to find the path here, or let's say the path, the, uh, the script, in order to launch that uh, user panel that you already put before into the uh, Maya folder, into the script Maya folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what do guys would exactly do, which is get this guy here. Oops. Copy. And back to Maya. I run the, uh, I bring my script editor. And into the Python shelf, not into mail, into the Python, I paste this body. Yep. Okay. And I run it. And here it is. This is the toy user panel that you guys are going to be using in order to unlock the character. Uh, and this panel, uh, there is two things that you guys need to know. Uh, one is the user ID. All this information that you guys have here are the numbers that you have to send me through email. Uh, because what I'm going to send you back is the key code here. Actually, this part here would be empty. So once you send me this and um, and I will send you back the key code that would you will paste, right? So the only thing that you have to do is just to paste it and hit play with time. And there you go. Here it is, the guy ready to work with it. Uh, probably it can happen. It doesn't, it didn't happen to everybody, but it can happen that uh, textures are not displayed. So everything that you have to do is to Hit this button here in Maya to uh, show all the textures and also, which helps a lot to look at it very, very nicely, is to get rid of the anti-aliasing or however you guys pronounce it. 
my English is not that good yet. Um, so it looks a little smoother and, and better. And, and there it is. You guys are ready to go. So the only, the last thing you guys need to know is that once you guys uh, do your animation that it allows you save, you create any kind of versions that you need. Once you go back, you are going to need to run your panel again. So my recommendation is that you create a shelf here. Uh, it's like, this is like logging every time that you switch or you get into the shot. You log in and this is going to look exactly as you left it. You're going to see your user ID as it was and you are also going to see your last key code that you use. So you actually don't need to go back to the emails, copy and paste it. The only thing that you guys are going to need again is to hit the button play with toy. Um, same as yeah, switching on and off. Um, you won't lose any kind of uh, information. Um, the only thing that you also need to know is that when you open a shop and you get back to this, you guys need to be uh, connected to the internet because that's the way, uh, you know, the panel or the licensing system is going to be looking for if you guys are good to go or not. If you guys are not good to go, uh, well, it won't work. All right, so that's it. Uh, lastly, but not less important, there's something that uh, I'd like to mention. Um, and uh, I'd love to let you know, guys, that this is a very small business that I'm trying to run by myself. Trying to, even though that we are working with all these last technology things, um, many of the processes that we are doing are manual um, because it's going to help us at the end you know, to get what really matters, the toy rig out and to see how it goes, if people enjoy it or not. Um, the licensing system or, or let's say generating the key code and getting back to you guys is something that is done by myself. So I will appreciate pretty much your patience uh, because that may take probably from one to three days is something that I've never done. Uh, let's see how it goes. You know, in the future, maybe if things goes well and we get more rigs out and people is starting to like it, uh, I would start to maybe generate some of those processes more automatically. But in the meantime, I'd like to keep this small personal overall, uh, not just because I'm offering myself um, to give classes and to give feedback with whatever the shots that you guys do, also because I like to keep this personal. I like to you know, uh, stay in contact with you, uh, be open and be um, reachable in order to, you know, whatever you guys want to mention, comment, ask about whatever the rig or something, I want to be there. So that's why I also am not afraid to keep this uh, small, personal, uh, with some manual processes. So please, guys, go ahead, use the Facebook group with uh, any kind of uh, issues, questions, sharing your shot uh, may be. If you guys just want to go ahead and say, hey, this is pretty cool, uh, uh, this is the shot that I've been doing, or this is the post that I've been trying to do, go ahead, don't be afraid, just do it. Uh, hopefully we will be able to create some kind of um, community in the next few months. But the most important thing is to, to me is to know that this is working, that you guys are enjoying, that you guys are having fun, and uh, let's see where it takes us. So thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy this.